Right, farmers, it's Monday the 26th of June, and we're back with some mods. So first up is the Sweet Bakery. This is by Chen Ben, 6.65 megabot on the download. And it has got some great stuff in it. You're going to find the first bit in the construction menu and under productions and factories. So we'll scroll along to find it. They are 70 grand to place down. It's going to make a few little extras, which is ace. And then once you've made those extras, you need somewhere to sell it. So if you come down to the selling points, we've got this one here, 15 grand. It's going to be a market store. Now, these are the things it's going to be making. Oh, ace. So we've got great bread. We've got chocolate bread and then we've got croissants now i thought chocolate bread wasn't that pan au chocolat i had some of those for breakfast this morning oh ace so we'll go around here you've got your production chain menu just here so go into there like that so it'll make the standard bread and cakes no problem but that being said the bread look at the cycle count on that you've got cakes as 192 cycles a month the bread is 2160 that's going to bang that out, no problem. And then we'll come down to croissants. So we've got flour, eggs and butter going in. Same cycles as the cake. Great bread is going to be raisins and flour. Same cycles. And then chocolate bread, flour, chocolate, eggs and butter. Same cycles as the cow, as the cakes even. That bread though, that is going to bang it out, no problem. Although, look at it. Oh yes. Oh, this is making me hungry just looking at it. A detail on here though. I mean, you've got like postcard rack, flower pot. Oh, ace. So you come down here. This is where you're going to put all your stuff in. Then we'll come around the back. And you've got your pallet spawn point just there for you. And then we'll come down the side. And it looks like uh, some of the neighbours aren't quite happy with what's going on here because they've vandalised some of the <laughs> some of the posters. Uh, La, cho La Chocolate. Teen Viencra? Yeah, I don't know what that means, but all right, fair enough. That is awesome. I mean, it's like a bakery, but with extras. Oh, love it. Next up is Small Brick House. This is by Raider. 11.73 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu. And as you can imagine, on the buildings and farmhouses. There it is. 45 grand to place down. And it's a farmhouse. So you come up to the front door. There's your sleep trigger. You've got your wardrobe icon just there. And I must admit, you can't go inside, but the detail on this. I mean, you've got little wood stacks there. The brickwork just looks awesome. We'll come down this side as well, have a little look. Look, they've got a little well there as well. Chuck a few pennies in, make a wish. That looks brilliant. Really does. I mean, you've got a little bit of a storage area at the front. Wheelie bin. Oh, put your rubbish in. Oh, I like that. Very nice. My right, next up is Storage Racks. This is by Agric Evolution. 1.18 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in a construction menu and on the buildings and silos. So we'll scroll along to find it. There it is. It's only going to cost you a grand. It's going to hold 14 pallets. But what tastes about this is it's a racking. And you can put that in buildings. That is brilliant. And it takes all sorts. Absolutely all sorts. Now the icons do seem to be... A little bit, yeah. All right, that's normally the loading in icon. That's normally the taking out icon. But all right, fair enough. You actually put the stuff in there and then the pallet spawn here in the hatch marking area. But, you know, that's not really a problem. But you come up to it, you see what we've got in here, right? We've got a bag of mineral feed, a bag of horse food, a pallet of liquid fertilizer, a pallet of butter. We then got a pallet. Well, one of those big container pallets of liquid fertilizer, pallet of rope salt, cereal, and one of the new ones. Yeah, that is a nice. pallet of great bread in there. Also, I've put a pallet of umbilical hose from the, was it the pumps and hoses pack? Yeah, that, that's not showing for some reason, but that's the only one. And as usual, you just go in there and actually we'll get the hose out. Why not? Where is it? There you are. Do that, and out it pops. I'm not quite sure why that doesn't show on the racks, but that is brilliant. Bang that into any sort of building that you've got, and you don't have to use one of the pallet warehouses. You can make your own. That is awesome. My right, next up is Concrete Freeland Silo Pack. This is by RLSF Modding, 7.07 .07 megabyte on the download. You're going to find these two in the construction menu and under buildings and silos. So we'll scroll along to find them. 
There we are, so we've got two versions. So we've got the big one, 40 grand. We then got the small one for 20 grand. Pretty much half, pretty much half the price. Fair enough. So obviously it's a concrete pad that is a bunker silo. I mean, look at that grate in the middle as well. Just a little water point in there. Obviously that's just for decoration, but I like them. Tires on the side, obviously fill it up with chaff, cover it over with a blanket, ferment it. Oh, very nice. Right, next up is Pack Sheds BR. This is by Fritz, 8.55 megabyte on the download. You're going to find them in the construction menu and under buildings and sheds. So we've got the first one there, 20 and a half grand. It's got a bit of a back wall on the go with it. Shed with extension. And we then got the second one, which is 15 and a half grand, which is just a shed. Although it's not a shed, it's more of a lean-to, but... In lean-to, cover over. It's got a drive through option on both of them anyway. It's just the one with the extension. It's got the bit of brickwork out the back. Store some pallets or bales in there. Yeah, I like them in the detail on the woodwork, mind you. That looks ace. Yeah, very nice. Right, next up is Old Wooden Barn. This is by ICAS. 5.96 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and under buildings and sheds. 25 grand is going to cost you to place down. It's an old shed. <laughs> As the neighbours suggest. So you can watch it like that. Those two big doors open up, fair enough. You've got a side door as well, if you want to come through the side. Nice little side awning, side piece on the go. Yeah, I like that. We've got some lights just there. Yeah, I like it. I mean, it's not massive, so you are going to be a little bit limited on it, mind you. But still, if you want to go for that sort of American red barn sort of look to your farm. Yeah, I like it. Right, next up is Cow Barn Old. This is by Seller Bookie. 15.51 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and under animals and cows. So we've got it there. 80 grand. It's going to hold 140 cows. Obviously, it's a little bit large on the pasture side of it, mind you. So just bear that in mind when you're placing it down. But still, it does look good. Got me cows out there having a mooch in the grass. Fair enough. So you've got your milk taken out point there by the milk churns. Then got this door that opens up like that. Oh, just hit myself in the face. So in there goes your feed and your straw. Then we'll come down this side. You've got a bit of a storage area. If you want to put some pallets or bales in there. Here is your slobby taken out point. You've got another door. Hold on. I'm going to have to back up a little. Oh, got it just in time. It didn't hit myself in the face twice in one month. <laughs> dear, oh dear. You've got a bit of a drive through option on the go there. We'll come around here, you've got your animal dialogue box just there for you. So 140 cows go in. Around here, you've got your water loading in point. And then down here, you can open up these gates like that. And there's your manure heap. Built-in manure heap. Oh, that's all right. Right, let's close this gate up. Dump me beef burgers running down the road. Oh, I like that. Oh, can we open this door? Yeah, we can. Oh, it stinks in here. It stinks. All right, we'll carry on. I like that mod, though. That is very nice. All right, next up is Pitchfork Pack. This is by KXUYLS. 2.77 megabyte on the download. You're going to find them under bale loaders. So we've got three in this pack. We've got a bale fork, a pallet fork, and a manure fork. Fair enough. So we're going to the bale fork first. So 600 is going to cost you. You've got the main color. You change it to whatever you like. Change it to the framework. Design color. It's obviously going to do the tines on the front. Fair enough. We've also got the pallet fork itself. So again, main colour, design colour is going to do the forks. It's going to cost you 600 as well. And to finish it up, we've got the manure fork. So we've got the main colour option is the frame that attaches to your tractor. And design colour, we'll go for green. Does that bit? Manure fork's got 600 litre capacity. I mean, you're not going to be moving massive amounts, mind you, but oh, I like that though. And it's like all the imperfections in the metal. You've got a couple of cracks, you've got a couple of low spots, high spots. Yeah, very nice. All right, next up is the Stoll F30. This is by Gaming Flow. 1.94 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under front loaders. Now, there is a note on the website. It says this front loader matches best to tractors with a Stoll console. For example, the Hurleyman XMT4i. So if it's got a Stoll console as an option on your tractor, this should work fine with it. 5,400 to buy. Requires 90 horsepower from your tractor. Main colour is your only option, so we'll go for that. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I like that. Very nice. 
Right, next up is the Lizard 12 8TT pack. This is by JD Modding Arg, 7.81 megabyte on the download. You're going to find them on the trailers. So we've got two versions here. We've got the 8TT and then the CTD8TT. <laughs> That's a lot of T's. All right, we'll go into this one first. So it's got a 10,000 litre capacity, five grand, although we have got an optional extra. There you are. That's better. It's on the tyres. Swivel axle on the front. Probably not the easiest reversing, especially if you're like me with these. But all right, we'll carry on. That's just me. Usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tyres. Main colour, obviously going to do those bits. Design colour is going to do the stripe down the middle. And then rim colour, obviously going to do the rims, as the name would suggest. Fair enough. We'll come out of that and we'll go into the CTD8TT. That's a lot of T's, that is. That really is. And it's got an August spout on the back side. However you want to call it. Oh, that's all right. 10,000 litre capacity again. Six grand as base. It's those tyres. It's putting those lizard tyres on. Costing 500. All right, fair enough. Main colour, again, it's going to do the main colour. Design colour is going to do the stripe. And then rim colour is going to do the rims. Yeah, I'm not quite sure that yellow goes with the purple, mind you. But still. Ah, they look all right. Very nice. Right, next up is the Lizard 732. This is by Valak, 5.81 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under Disc Harrows. So 80 horsepower requirement from your tractor, 3.7 meter working width, 9 mile an hour working speed, 5 grand. There is no options. I mean, 3.7, yeah, you're not going to be doing massive fields in two seconds, but being said, though, it looks all right. I mean, one for your small farming shenanigans, no problem. Yeah, very nice. Now, last mod for the day is the John Deere W series. This is by Melody98, 15.01 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under harvesters. So it starts off with a 255 horsepower engine, 24 mile an hour top speed, 8,000 litre capacity on the grain tank, 225 grand. Not bad. You then can change the engine set up from 255 to 290, 320, 350, then back to 255. Usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tyres. Well, that being said, I didn't find any tracks on it. All right, fair enough. Starfire, none. 6,000. 6,000 RTK. 7,000. 7,000 RTK or nothing. Fair enough. Puts that just above the windscreen. And that's your options. Yeah, if you want to go for a smaller John Deere harvester, I mean, that looks really good. Very nice. We've also got a new map. So this is Big Flats, Texas by TK Farms. 114.79 megabyte on the download. And says this is a fictional map based off locations around Greenville, Texas. Oh, let's go do some cow rustling. Got a few updates as well. So we've got the Passenger Top 611A by Agra Design Austria. The 2017 Pickup Police by Farm Mods TV. Lizard MSL 3500 by Guian FS. Passenger Hit 690N by Agra Design Austria. Passenger Hit 47N by Agra Design Austria. Passenger Top Pack by Agra Design Austria. And the Windmill by the Lord. So that's your mods done for you. Why not hit that join button? Come join us on Andy's Farm. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's muchly appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.